Have you ever wondered how aluminium foil is made? Let's take a journey back to the very beginning, to the birth of aluminium itself. Aluminium, the third most abundant element on Earth, is not found freely in nature. It's locked away, hidden within a rock named bauxite. Mining bauxite is the first step in the journey of making aluminium. Now you might be wondering, why go through all this trouble for aluminium? Well, this silvery white metal has some pretty impressive qualities. It's light, it's strong, it's resistant to corrosion, and it conducts heat and electricity. Need I say more? From the cans of soda you enjoy on a hot summer day, to the foil that keeps your leftovers fresh, aluminium is a part of our everyday lives. And it all starts with a chunk of bauxite rock. So we've got our bauxite, now what? Stay tuned to find out. The journey from raw bauxite to aluminium foil starts with a process called the Bayer's process. This is where the magic begins. The Bayer's process, named after its inventor Carl Bayer, is a method designed to refine bauxite, a clay-like substance that's rich in aluminium. Imagine the bauxite being crushed into a fine powder. It's then mixed with sodium hydroxide. This cocktail is cooked up to a high temperature and pressure in massive vessels. Under these extreme conditions, the bauxite dissolves, leaving us with a solution of sodium aluminate. Now, picture this solution being cooled and seeded with crystals of aluminium hydroxide. These seeds trigger a reaction, causing aluminium hydroxide to precipitate out of the solution. The precipitate is then heated to over a thousand degrees Celsius, driving off the water and leaving us with pure alumina, a white powder. After the Bayer's process, we are left with pure alumina, but we're not quite at aluminium foil yet. With pure alumina in hand, we move on to the next stage, the hall hero process. This is where the true magic happens, folks. Picture this. The alumina is dissolved in a molten electrolyte, a bath of sorts, made primarily from a compound called cryolite. The heat a searing 950 degrees Celsius, but it's not a spa day for our alumina, no sir. This hot bath serves a purpose. The heat and the electrolyte work together to break down the alumina into its components, oxygen and aluminium. Then, we apply a strong electric current. The oxygen is drawn to the positive electrode, or anode, where it reacts and forms carbon dioxide. The aluminium, however, is attracted to the negative electrode, or cathode, and collects at the bottom of the bath. And voila, with this we have our aluminium. But how does it become that thin, shiny foil we're all familiar with? Now comes the fun part, rolling the aluminium. This is where the magic truly begins. Our aluminium, fresh from its transformation from alumina, is now ready for its next adventure. First off, the aluminium is hot rolled. This process involves heating the aluminium before it's passed through a series of large rollers. This isn't just a casual stroll, mind you. This is an intense heat workout that thins the aluminium out, much like rolling a dough. Once our aluminium is sufficiently thinned, we move on to the next stage, cold rolling. The aluminium, now cooled down, is passed through the rollers again. This time, the process refines the thickness to its final form. The aluminium is rolled several times, each pass bringing it closer to the desired thinness. It's a dance of precision and control, a testament to the marvels of modern manufacturing. And just like that, we have aluminium foil. But wait, there's more to it. After the aluminium has been rolled into thin sheets, it's time to give it the final touches. The foil is then cut into desired lengths, depending on the use it's intended for. From small squares for your chocolate bars to longer strips for your kitchen needs, the versatility of aluminium foil is truly remarkable. But we're not done yet. Each piece of foil then goes through rigorous quality control. It's inspected for any imperfections, ensuring that every roll that leaves the factory is as close to perfect as possible. And what's next? Packaging. The foil is carefully wound onto cardboard tubes and wrapped in protective packaging, ready to make its way to the stores. From shielding your leftover dinners in the fridge to helping you bake those perfect cookies, aluminium foil has become an indispensable part of our everyday lives. And there you have it, the journey of aluminium foil from the ground to your kitchen. 